Episode 95. Are you ready to take your eBay business to the next level? Then hold on, because Ron and Ali are going to take you into the fast lane. With the latest tips and insights from some of the biggest and most successful sellers. Here on the So You Want to Sell on eBay podcast. Welcome once again to another episode of So You Want to Sell on eBay. I'm Ron LeBeau. And I'm Ali Young. Hey, everyone. We have with us today Laurie Ann Wong. Laurie, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing wonderful. Great to have you with us, Laurie. Thank you. It'd be cool. All right. Now, Laurie Wong is a 2016 eBay Shine Award winner in the charity category, and she didn't start her community resource center in, pant- in food pantry, uh, Reflections of Trinity, as an eBay business. But with a friend's help and a willingness to try something new, Laurie began what she calls her online adventure in 2005. It's a decision, she says, that changed the trajectory of her business. With the ability to sell locally, nationally, and internationally on eBay, Lori reports that uh, Reflections of Trinity's revenue has increased between $60,000 and $85,000 for each of the past five years. In 2015 alone, Reflections of Trinity distributed 12,429 boxes of groceries, which is about 623,000 pounds of food, to those in need, and in 2016, they crossed the million dollar mark by distributing over one million dollars worth of groceries to those in crisis. Along the way, Lori says she has gone skeptic, gone from skeptical and uninformed about eBay to a power seller with an anchor level eBay store and staff of three. Lori is a proud mom to six grown adults and grandmother of eight. <laughs> Ron, are you all right, mate? Are you, are you, take a breath, Ron. Jeez. <sighs> this is unbelievable stuff there, Laurie. I, to be honest, actually, I never even knew eBay gave out awards. Did you, did you have to get up there and do like an Oscar speech? No, not at all. But that was the inaugural year. Wow. So what, yeah, was the, was the what is it? Year. Do they give it out every year, do they? Or It, was the, it started in 2016. I'm the very first Shine wow. Award winner. Ooh, we got a celebrity. So it, that was the inaugural, an inaugural year. Wow, I'm I'm really nervous now, Ali. We get these celebrities on our show here all the time, and I just, you know, I start getting nervous again. Why, why didn't you tell me prior to recording, Ron? You know, I can get prepared for this sort of stuff. <laughs> well, I knew that Lori was a, uh, a celebrity, but I didn't know she was the first 2000, you know, wow. eBay Shine Award amazing. winner. That that kind of threw me as well. So you got so your main business is groceries, is it? I mean, is that is that what it is now, or? Well, we have a um, a nonprofit. It's a 501c3 organization in uh, Powder Springs, Georgia, which is a tiny little suburb of Atlanta, Georgia. Mm-hmm. And um, as a nonprofit, we care for those that are in crisis. Nice. So our eBay business is actually the social enterprise or the revenue generator for our ministry. So my primary concern is people that are in crisis. And to be able to help the people that are in crisis, we have different forms that generate revenue, like a brick and mortar store Mm -hmm. that we have in Potter Springs. And then to be able to sell nationally and internationally, we have an eBay division. You know what, Lori? This is just a an, an incredible story, really. Um, Reflections of Trinity. I mean, it is your it is your passion, it is your life. But you know, really, it is is amazing to see people like yourself who give and give and give and expect nothing in return. And and you know, it's just uh, awesome to see. I'm actually on your website, uh, reflectionsoftrinity.org, and uh, what a what a true uh, testimony to to what it's like to to really help out other people. It's really awesome. Kudos to you. Thank you so much. <laughs> and is that, any, is we, that uh, any type of people, is it? I mean, is it like a disaster types or is it like homeless? We do all of the above. Right. So Louisiana got hit with um, tremendous flooding recently. And um, we sent a rescue team down to help with repairs and disaster relief. So we do that. And then we also help those right in our own community, um, single moms that are trying to make ends meet. And we also have a significant amount of senior citizens that live in government subsidized housing. It's called HUD housing. Mm -hmm. And those seniors um, have a tough time sometimes trying to stretch a dollar. They have to 
choose between buying medication and buying food. And so well, our food pantry subsidizes those seniors um, in a huge way. Yeah, and I can only imagine, you know, I mean, you live your whole life and uh, you get to the point, you know, where you're, you're a senior and you don't have a whole lot. And I, I just imagine you put a lot of smiles on a lot of faces on a daily basis. Well, we certainly try, Ron. And um, let me tell you something. It's not as far fetched as one would think, because I can tell you all it takes is one major illness, one financial catastrophe, and you spend the next 10 years digging yourself out of a ditch. Mm. Now, if you can just imagine that that happened to you at 60 or 65. Sure. Do you realize that you could spend the rest of your life trying to dig yourself out of a ditch? Wow. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's crazy. I mean, it is. It, it's not. Yeah, it, it is crazy. And you're absolutely correct. You can you can do everything right your entire life. And one yep. illness can wipe everything out. You, everything your, out. That you've worked for. And I'm sure you see it on a regular basis, right? Daily. So yep. as, as a charity type person on eBay, is there sort of different um, specifications you have to pass to to be able to sell on eBay? And also, do you do you not pay fees as well and stuff like that? Well, um, there is certain um, specifications that we have to pass. We have to send in a letter um, from the IRS stating that we are indeed um, a 501c3. So there's extra paperwork that we have to provide. Mm -hmm. And we do get um, benefits with reduced fees as a charity. Uh, we we still have to pay some fees, but not... Um, but not as much as if we were a for-profit business. So they give us a bit of a break. Wow. Now, that's really good on their part as well. I mean, eBay recognizes and, uh, you know, that, uh, you know, what people like you are, are doing and charities that you're like you're doing, um, you know, I mean, obviously, like you said, it, you know, eBay is uh, the moneymaker for the uh, support for Reflections at Trinity. And uh, it is nice that uh, you're able to do that. Absolutely. eBay is all about the people. And I think that's what differentiates them from other selling platforms, um, because they truly care uh, about the people part. I, I have never met a corporate employee that um, I didn't like, and I've met quite a few of them. And I can tell you, I absolutely love being a part of the eBay family. Nice. That is really cool. I just put a, you just put a smile on my face. That's really awesome <laughs> to hear because there's not a lot of corporations that a lot of people will say that about for real. I mean, it just uh, it is nice to hear. It is nice to hear. Thank you, and thanks to eBay. <laughs> Definitely, absolutely. So let's talk a little bit about uh, you know your your plan and, and what you do with eBay. I mean, how do how do you bring things in? Is it all donations? And then also, um, you know, about your team. Uh, obviously, you, you I know you do a lot of it yourself, but I'm sure you have a team, right? I do. So Reflections of Trinity is more than just the eBay division, and um, I actually have a total of nine employees. But there's only three. Uh, there's only three of us that work on the eBay division. Okay. And um, yes, they the items that we receive are donations. But I want to dispel a myth with your listeners cool. about I donations. <laughs> I, I love dispelling them. Yes. Yeah, it sounds already exotic so, and we haven't even got there, you know? <laughs> so a lot of people think that because you receive a donation that it's free. It is not, and let me tell you why. Okay. As a charity, from the minute somebody wants to donate something to me and they drop it in a donation bin, it starts costing me money because I have to not only purchase a bin that fits specifications, and usually those bins run over $1,000 a piece, but I have to oh. insure the bin and I have to insure the property that the bin is on. <laughs> Not only that, I have to buy a truck to go and pick up the merchandise, and I have to pay a driver, I have to purchase a truck, I have to insure the truck, and then once the item comes to us, we then have to pay somebody to sort the item, to clean the item, to list the item. So by the time the item gets on eBay, I have invested a significant amount of money in that item. Mm. For that free so, donation. <laughs> for that free donation. So what people need to understand is, well, you got it free. You can sell it for nothing. No, I can't. 
That's true. Yeah, oh, that's a great point. Nothing. That's a, and, that's an excellent. And, and that's how ministries work. It costs us money. It costs us. We have to pay insurances and workmen's compensation and salaries, just like an, a, a for-profit business. And just because we didn't buy the merchandise doesn't mean it hasn't cost us something. Mm -hmm. So that's a myth I want to dispel. Cool. Well, I think you did a very good job of doing that, Laurie. Well, thank you. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. And I hope the next time that somebody, you know, speaks to a nonprofit or purchases something from a nonprofit, that they understand that there's tremendous cost involved. And what they're trying to do is not only cover their costs, but they're trying to make some money so that they can actually do the good that they were called and purposed to do. Mm. So if I'm selling a coat for $20, there's an upfront cost of maybe 5 well. And maybe I need another $5 so that I can feed a family down the street that can't make ends meet. So when somebody sits and barters me down and tries to get a coat for two dollars, I'm already in a loss. I can't. I can't. I can't do that. Can't, can't well, hopefully can't enough they people send it to your house or something. I can't. Can't they mail it to you or some kind? Say that again, Ali. Sorry. It, can they not send it to you like in a post? Or what, what do you call it over there? Mail or something? Can they? Can they send like uh, boxes to your to your home as well? Or is it just put in all these bins? Is it? Well, I don't do anything out of my home. Okay. We um, we've grown to the stage where we have um, we have a warehouse. We have a nine thousand square foot warehouse, Jeez. and yeah. uh, we have a, a, a brick and mortar store that's um, five thousand six hundred square feet. <laughs> I don't think I don't think you want that stuff sitting on your front porch. <laughs> I do not. <laughs> don't blame you. Don't blame you. Well, that Ooh. sounds awesome. I mean, really. Uh, and how long have you been doing this? Uh, 14 years. I've been on eBay for 11. So what did you do before all this? I was in the corporate world. Um, I, uh, I worked in the, uh, the corporate end of the restaurant business. And uh, for several years, I was an outreach pastor at a church. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you saw a lot of pain there as well, right? With I families sure did. And, and, uh, and, you know, I guess you just felt the calling, right? I did. Absolutely. I left uh, the corporate world, went to the church, uh, worked there for several years, and then launched out on my own from the church. And that wasn't a hard step at all, was it? (laughs) No, not at all. (laughs) I knew that I knew that I knew that I was supposed to, uh, that I am where I am. I, I have no regrets. So you started out, uh, you know, on your own, you left the corporate world, you started out and I'm just trying to envision. So how does it start? You, you, you start out of your home maybe, and, and just trying to build up and then you had enough money to maybe rent a small place or how'd that go? Well, um, we started as a benevolent arm of the church in 2003 with, yep. um, with, a, with a thrift store. And, uh, the whole purpose of the thrift store was to be able to provide, items for families that were in crisis um, for free, but then also sell items so that we could be self-sustaining because we didn't, once we were launched, we wanted to be able to to take care of ourselves from the day the doors opened. And we did. We were a self-sustaining benevolent arm of the church. Well, a a few, a few years into it, um, we got our own 501c3 and became a standalone um, nonprofit completely on our own, not subsidized. Um, and uh, two years into that, in 2005, I started my eBay business so that we could have a national and international platform. Had you had any eBay experience prior to that, or was this all a learning experience? Uh, Ron, I didn't even know how to start my eBay business when uh, <laughs> in 2005. Ooh. A friend of mine, a friend of mine, literally had to open the account for me. Love I had it. no zero experience. I didn't even open my own account. Ron and Ali will be right back after this short break. Do you want to set yourself apart from other eBay sellers? Want to look like one of the big brands? How would you like to feel confident that you could do it yourself, but know that the support is there if you get stuck? Now you can create your branded eBay store and have your store doing more. With Auction Pro Templates Premium Do-It-Yourself eBay Template. This template is loaded with tools and features you won't find in any other system. Go to yourstoredoingmore.com now to see what's included. That's yourstoredoingmore.com. 
Are you tired of stockouts? Are you done with overselling? Are you sick of wasting time with boring back-end tasks? If that's you, Ecom Dash is here to help. It's an inventory management and automation software system that helps your business run lean, reduce errors, and increase sales. Sync your inventory and sales data across channels, automatically forward sales to suppliers, and make your e commerce business scalable. Visit ecom dash.com. That's E C O M D A S H.com for a free trial and take 50% off your first month with promo code PODCAST. Be sure to check out So You Want to Sell on eBay.com for the latest podcasts and all the information you need to get selling fast. <laughs> so let me just talk to let me just talk, Lori, just for a minute here to the people that are out there listening and thinking maybe, you know, we got some things around the house. We we can sell it, but we don't know how. I mean, listen to what Lori is telling us here. I mean, in 2005, she had no idea about how to do anything on eBay. And with a friend's help, um, you know, she started this eBay business and and she's growing this thing. And, and she and, and I, I, she can talk to talk now and walk to walk. And uh, and uh, she's doing an amazing job there. So if you're thinking out there that you, you know, would think about maybe starting an eBay business, start with some things around your house. You know, see what they, it doesn't cost you anything to do that. I mean, just some minimal little fees here. But uh, you can see test the waters and just see if it's something you're interested in. But uh, it's just a good way to get started. You know, just start some selling things around the house. I want to tell you the story of how I got started, and maybe it would be a bit of an inspiration um, to somebody that's listening. We love inspiring stories. All the time. I literally went. I, I literally went to a service on a Wednesday night and heard um, a, a pastor talk about the wealth is in your fragments. And I left the service, came back to the store. At that time, the store was about two years old. And I sat in front of an area where there was a box of carpet cleaner. I'll mm. never forget it as long as I live. And what was <laughs> ringing in my head was, your wealth is in your fragments. And Ron and Ali, I took a box of carpet cleaner in individual packets and a box of bird seed. And that's how I got started. <laughs> I love it. Mixed them together wow. and made a cocktail. A box of... <laughs> A box of bird seed and a box of carpet cleaner. No, nice, just and the same. That's, nice. That's what I started. And, you know, it, I, I got bites. In those days, I was selling on auctions, you know, mm, the auction right. way. And I got my first sale, and I was like, woo! <laughs> like, yeah, that's a good feeling, right? Uh, yeah, someone bought uh, me bird seed. Yeah. And then I started with figurines and household items. I didn't even, clothes is what I sell mostly now, but mm. I didn't even venture into clothes until probably year two. Wow. I was just so. selling all kinds of knickknacks. And, and then a friend of mine said, do you think you could sell my house on eBay? <laughs> and I said, I don't see why not. They've got eBay classified. Mm. So I went and I did a photo shoot of her house and I sold it in 45 days. Wow. Wow. eBay sold a house. Now, we haven't, we haven't heard anybody say they've sold a house, no. right, Ali? Yeah. No, not yet. I've sold a house. That's, the first. <laughs> that's why you have the awards. You know, that's it. <laughs> so, I mean, if I, I could donate you anything, I could donate you my ugly looking one eyed doll if I wanted to, yeah? Sure, I don't know that I'd put it on eBay. But <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, I, thought, I thought you had a heart. But then um, how do you know? Because we have people on the guests on here that are like into a niche or they sell something because they've researched about it or they have a passion behind it. But for you, you get everything given to you. So how do you know how much to sell everything for? Because you've got such a variety of different products. Do you, do you research it or do you auction it? Yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't do auctions. I um, sell everything fixed price with best offer, typically, not everything, but most things. And um, I basically have an idea of what people are looking for. Um, it's a hit and miss. Uh, and yes, we do do research. So um, I sell mostly clothes and shoes, and um, uh, fashion accessories. And then I do have a lot of housewares. And what do you yeah. do? What do you do if they don't sell? I put them in the store. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I take it from um, from eBay to the store, and if it doesn't sell in the store, then we recycle it. Okay, recycle. Very good. Very what's good. that? Yeah. You put it. What's recycling in America? 
Well, um, recycling, meaning there's other ministries that we can uh, wholesale it to. Um, I also give quite a lot away. Mm -hmm. I support missionaries that um, have orphanages in other countries. And um, we we donate a lot of items. So uh, I actually have a friend that's a missionary right there in Thailand. So uh, very interesting. Really? Where, whereabouts? <laughs> Which part? You know, I I don't know. His name is Johnny Moore, um, and I know he lives in Thailand. Can't blame um, him. Sensible guy. But uh, <laughs> yeah. Does he yeah, ride an scary. elephant? Do you know if he rides an elephant to to work or? I have no idea. <laughs> okay. But focus, Ali. Focus. focus. Sorry. We're talking about eBay. It's always about, about eBay, elephants man. with me. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah. So anyhow, that that's a great. And let me let, let's try to get it on point here because Ali just drifts off. When, when you hear <laughs> elephant or Thailand, we're done. I mean, it's just over. So I'm trying to really work really hard. I mean, six hundred and twenty-two thousand nine hundred sixty-five pounds of food. Jeez, and that was in, that that was in 2015. We yeah. far surpassed that in 2016. Yeah, over a, you crossed a million. Yep, uh, sure I mean, did. Unbelievable. So we're talking refrigeration, we're talking, I mean, you're talking of this on a massive scale, aren't you? Yeah, and uh, eBay helped us to do that because when I won the Shine Awards, they gave us $10,000 to buy a uh, commercial walk-in freezer. It was a uh, 14-foot freezer. So that expanded our capacity. And uh, just to give you um, uh, some figures... In 2015, for Thanksgiving, which is usually our biggest outreach, we were able to serve 430 families with a turkey dinner, meaning they got the groceries to be able to make a turkey dinner. So they got the turkey and all the fixings in the form of groceries. Okay. Wow. So so 430 families in, in 2015. In 2016, because eBay gave us a freezer where we could store the stuff instead of storing it in five different locations. Right. That figure bumped up to 565 families. Very nice. Awesome. Awesome. Yep. And that is amazing. I mean, you, you just incredible. The story is very cool and it just gets, keeps getting better by the minute. So how do you choose Thank those you. families? I mean, what is there like, is there a place that you go and these families are on the streets or you, you hear about these families through church or something? No, we um, we have an outreach ministry in the middle of the marketplace. So it's not in a church building or or on church property. We're literally in the middle of the marketplace uh, with a food pantry. Okay, And we get in there at 730 on a Saturday morning. Um, By eight o'clock, we have a lineup of people outside our door and our doors don't open until 11. So from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m., people are standing in line. It goes all the way out to the street. And my philosophy is if you're willing to stand in line for three hours for a box of food, you need it. Definitely. That, that's a true statement. I mean, definitely. They that's... do that with phones as well, though, don't they? Or don't they stand huh? if you queue for hours huh? for a phone or something, don't they? But that's, that's oh, I mean, yeah. it's, it's amazing. It, I mean, it's, you must sleep well. I do. <laughs> I mean, now, Ali, are you saying that? Are you saying that because of the good work she does, or definitely. because uh, the, the the sixteen hour days are really, really long? And she's <laughs> yeah, that's exhausted. it. You know, it's like it's, it's exactly eating all that so. food. You must be knackered. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, I'll tell you, the the, the work the work days are long. The mm-hmm. sixteen and eighteen hour days. It's so true, Ron. It's it's not an easy. It's not an easy. Um, a, a, not an easy job. Long hours, but it's well, extremely fulfilling. The good news is uh, with that many hours and that hard work, there's probably not much competition, <laughs> right? <laughs> no, not really. And it doesn't yeah, matter even what if there doing. was, does it? Because it, it's a cause. It, it's not you trying to make money for yourself. It's you making money for a cause. So competition or not, really, it, it doesn't really matter, does it? It does not. Because <laughs> it's for a cause. It really doesn't. So where where are you going to be? You're going to have like a million square meter warehouse in the future. What, what are we looking at here? You know, I don't know. Um, I know that we need to move our store so that our our food pantry can grow. The food pantry section is only a thousand square feet, and we've totally outgrown that. We feel very pot bound. 
Right. Um, so we need to move the ministry division into the store, which will give us about almost 7,000 square feet for the ministry part. And we need to move the store. So that's really my focus for this year. The store mm. needs to move to a, a bigger location. Wow. So you're not, you said nine employees, was that correct? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so, I mean, I, I guess obviously you're at the head, so you make most of the decisions, but uh, when you make a decision like that, do you get a lot of help from uh, the community to, to, to help you with things like moving and things like that? Well, we've never moved before. We've been in the same location since the day we opened our doors. Um, okay. So I'm thinking that that's left to be seen. But as far as our food pantry is concerned, we get a tremendous amount of volunteer help. We get anywhere from uh, 40 to over 60 people that volunteer on a weekly basis um, mm-hmm. to help us move the kind of volume that we do in food. Wow. I've, I've, that's I've, all I can say is wow. I mean, yeah, seriously. I'm that's... speechless. I, I don't think I've ever had anyone on this show who's actually made me shut up. <laughs> Thank you very much, Laurie. What are you doing next week? No, I'm yeah, no. no it's, uh, it's beautiful, though. You know, it's going out there. It's helping people. So you're using like the website. You're using store. You're using eBay. Do you use any? Do you use like social media to help promote this sort of yeah. stuff as well? Yeah, we do quite a bit on Facebook. Um, I need to get better at doing things on social media. Join the um, club. I, yes. I I could be a whole lot better, to be honest with you. But we do. We do some. We do use it some. Well, there's only, I mean, there's only so many hours in a day, Laurie. Absolutely, I mean, you, Ron. You put 16, 16, 18 sleeping? hours. Of, <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. Learn to sleep with one eye. You can type as you're sleeping away there. You know, come on. It's a few more hours left in the day. <laughs> yeah, that's my challenge. But, you know, with God's help, we're going to be able to get more staff. And, you know, fingers crossed, we'll be able to get somebody that'll handle website updates and media, um, all of that, where I, I'll be able to <clears throat> keep my focus on what I need to be focused on. And um, the other areas won't be as neglected as they perhaps are. Exactly. I mean, so, I mean, obviously, from your from your perspective, you need to be doing the, the administrative stuff and hopefully be able to at some point soon, hopefully uh, be able to uh, delegate some other uh, of your responsibilities so that you get some more time back in your day and yep. other things are being taken care of. And, you know, the reflections of Trinity can grow. Absolutely. Absolutely. And um, I have a uh, one of the things that I got with the shine awards is a an ebay coach and uh he's out of the utah office uh for ebay and uh, he's definitely helping me to take the ebay store to the very next level um in the quality of our listings uh, our picture templates i'm i'm actually using a template service called crazy lister okay and, yeah we uh, you got them on it. We've actually interviewed him on our show. Yeah, actually. Yeah, I'm using Crazy Lister and just loving both Max and Victor. They are two amazing uh, young men, and uh, they're definitely helping to take reflections to the next level. We're raising the bar on the quality um, of our content and uh, the design of our store. So that's taking a lot of work, and... Um, a lot of homework because I have over 2,500 items in my store. So <laughs> it's hard, to try it? to upgrade my, you know, everything is, has been a task. So I guess part of your warehouse is for storage of your eBay things with 2,500. Yep. You've got, uh, you've got some stuff that, uh, and then who actually does your shipping for you? So like, I mean, if, if this brown coat that I'm looking at on your uh, eBay store uh, sells, who, who handles that order uh, from the time it comes in to packaging and shipping it? I have um, one primary employee that does shipping along with me. So I have, she works three days a week and okay. then I handle Thursdays and Fridays and Saturdays. So we, okay. we, we, we do shifts and I'm hoping to hire somebody to be able to do what I would normally do on a Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah. I mean, I, my hope for you, uh, Lori, is that, you know, 
somebody, you know, you get some more staff so that you can kind of free up some more of your time, right? I mean, Absolutely. you're doing a, you're doing an amazing thing here, and this is an amazing story. Um, but yeah, it would be kind of cool. I mean, you've put in your time and you've built this thing this this large. Uh, it would be kind of neat to be able to afford uh, a couple more uh, employees that can do some more of the admin stuff to kind of give you back some of your day. Yeah, absolutely. And that's the goal for this year is to find somebody. You know, the challenge with that is that most people that are willing to do an eBay, um, to work in an eBay business, learn enough to do it for themselves. Yeah. So, exactly. um, you know, that's that's what has happened. I have trained and taught a gazillion people how to how to open <laughs> and successfully have an eBay business, <laughs> because once they learn from me, you know, they love me, but they're gone. Yeah, right. Right. So no, that's, that's, that, that's that's a shame, really, to be honest with you. Yeah, um, it's a casualty of uh, of of the industry, but uh, it's a reality. I suppose it's the yep. same in any industry, really. I mean, if you manage to get really, really good at something, and you can see there's a potential to do it on your own, then you sort of do, don't you? But yeah, yeah, absolutely. But you know, for eBay, it 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 doesn't take very much for you to go on your own. Exactly. You it's just have easy, to learn. Yeah. You, you you have to be good at the basics, and you got it. Yep. Master the basics and you got it. Is there any, yeah, particular, exactly. um, you know, you mentioned the, the list, the, um, the listing builder thing, but is there any little tools you use on eBay? Do you use like sales or stuff like that? Anything in particular? Um, I do promotions. promotions uh, yeah. I, do, I do sales, but I'll tell you what works really best for me is best offer. Oh, okay. F fixed price with best offer is what I find works the best for me. It's better. It's yielded better than promotions or sales uh, ever has because somebody will randomly pick something that's perhaps not on sale and shoot me a best offer. And if I've had it on the floor for a while and I want to get rid of it, I'll typically I'll accept the bid. Exactly. So do you walk around and you carry yourself your uh, I guess you carry a smartphone. Do you carry your smartphone and make the transactions from there so that you can kind of keep going or do you actually uh, sit down at a computer and, and do all the uh, Bingo run. I work on my phone. <laughs> She's a mingler. My phone is I mean, I am constant and I do my um, email messaging, answer messages from customers on my phone and I mean, I'll be I'll be doing outreach on a Saturday. I'll get a message and I'll say you know, hey, I'm doing outreach right now. Uh, we're 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 feeding um, families in crisis. But when I get to the office on Monday morning, I'll be sure to take a measurement of that sleeve for you. <laughs> there you go. There you go. That's amazing. That's really a good way of uh, responding to that. Yeah. But it's yeah, also, you know, ten, when you first came onto eBay, you didn't have that luxury. I mean, you didn't have phones. That's you, right. know, you, had to, you had to send the pigeon or the monkey out, you know, so right. it does make it yeah. a lot easier. We've run out of time here, like, but... Oh, I great having you on this show because it's we've had a lot of people who sell different stuff, but you're that you're actually the first person we've had on that's actually a charity sort of based uh, type Aww. seller. I oh, know it's and you got a medal, woohoo! So it, <laughs> it's brilliant. It's seriously what you're doing is a great thing, and if if so, you want to sell on eBay, can ever help out. We'd be more than happy to do that. We've we've really enjoyed having you on the show today, Laura. Thank you so much. And next time I come. Uh, maybe I'll talk about how I went from zero to 2,500 items in less than 12 months. Oh, now wow. she tells us, Ron. We, we, that <laughs> right. wasn't in your bio, was it? <laughs> I, I have to bait you, don't I? You do. <laughs> Are you free next week? <laughs> no. Ali, we had to stop the bio. It's, you know, when I got to chapter 16 in the bio, we just had to get to the interview, okay? I mean, you know, she brings it out in the last, it out. I'm just saying. last second of the interview. Hey, I forgot this really important, amazing part. That's like saying how I made a million dollars in an hour. You know, what? <laughs> Leave us hanging there. So brilliant. Thanks well, I'll be, I'll, be happy. I'll be happy to come back. So. Brilliant. No, we'll be we happy can, to have you back. schedule it. That's brilliant. <laughs> we'll post all the notes from today's interview on our show notes page, which can be found at www.soyouwannasellonebay.com forward slash show notes. Laurie, before you go, I mean, out of many, many contacts, how can people either donate or contact you? How can they help you out? They go to reflectionsoftrinity.org and you could make a donation there and you can watch the videos, see what we do. Support us on eBay. Our store is called Reflections of Trinity. And uh, just know that everything that you do to support us helps people in need.
Brilliant. I mean, it, that's a well worth course. So thanks for that. And uh, we'll, we'll put all of that information on the show notes page. So if you weren't able to pick that up, go over the show notes page and grab it from there. Once again, thanks for joining us. We've had some seriously fun time here from everyone at So You Want to Sell on eBay. I'm Ali Young. And I'm Ron LeBeau. That's all for this episode of So You Want to Sell on eBay. Be sure to check out our next episode or any past episodes by going online to SoYouWantToSellOnEbay.com. Also, be sure to follow us on your favorite social media sites, Facebook.com forward slash So You Want to Sell on eBay and Twitter at Your eBay Podcast. Thanks for listening. And until next time, happy selling. Have an so idea for a topic or know someone who would like to be on the show? Let us know. Just go to www.soyouwantosellonebay.com forward slash interview. We look forward to hearing from you. This podcast was produced in part by Pro Voice Works.